Hello YouTubers, you're watching Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to draw a microphone icon in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with I've got my new artboard here and I'm going to select the rectangle tool and just left click and drag to create the top part of our microphone. Now I'm going to click here to remove the fill and just leave the black outline and we're going to thicken this up a little bit. So something like this. And now using a CC version of Illustrator, you'll see these little dots just inside from the main outside anchor points. If you just click on those, and we'll just drag towards the center, and it will quickly round off that rectangle for us. Now we're going to select the shape, go up to Edit, down to Copy, Edit, Paste in Place, and then holding Alt and Shift, and clicking on one of the four corners, we're just going to drag this up so it will scale the shape up from the center. Then we're going to just click on those little circular dots again and just drag that back into the center because as we scale up, it remembers the radius. So now we've got more of a rounded rectangle with these flat parts here at the top and bottom and we don't want that. We want a completely rounded rectangle. So you'll see there when they turn red, that indicates that it can no longer be rounded anymore and we can release and that's fine. And then just click and hold shift to drag this up. What we want here is for this width through the bottom of the curve and up the other side to be equal in width. So that looks about right to me. So I can then select with the direct selection tool, just drag over these top two points here and hit delete or backspace. And now I can drag over this left point and hold shift and drag over this one so that they are both selected. And then using your mouse or the arrow keys, we can just nudge those down. Then I can use the line segment tool to left click and hold shift. Notice that as you're creating new shapes, it's remembering the stroke width that you've been using throughout the whole thing, which is really handy. And we're going to do the same again, clicking and holding shift to do our horizontal one. This is going to be our microphone stand. And we can just move that up so it all touches. I might just reduce the width of that a little bit. Now all of these shapes are going to be centralized to one another. This icon is symmetrical, so we can easily just drag over everything with our selection tool and click up here, horizontal align center. There you go. It just, just was out slightly out of place and it just nudges everything into line, which is great. And we can select everything. Now the ends here have a square cap on them. We're going to select in the stroke palette, the round cap. So this is a personal preference. I'm just going to round these off for the style of my microphone icon. Yours may be different. But the best thing about this is if I go into preview mode, that's command Y on the Mac or control Y on the PC, this is how it looks. And because this shape is still made up of lines or strokes effectively with no fill, we can select all of this, go into the stroke palette and adjust the weight of our stroke and we can make this as thin or as thick as we like. So it's always worth hanging on to an editable version of this, even if you do go with a slightly different version, because then you can adjust the width of the lines at a later date if you'd like. However, once you are happy with your shape and you are happy with the width of your lines, you can select everything, go up to Object, Expand, go down to Fill and Stroke, leave those selected, click OK, and then switching back over to preview mode, you'll have something that looks like this. And while this is fine, we're just going to tidy up these shapes here at the bottom. So just select everything in the Pathfinder palette, just click the top left icon, which is Unite, and it will turn this all, as you can see here, into one complete shape. And there we go. We've created a microphone icon in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.